Today I'm going to tell you why I think the Roland SP404 Mark II is the best sampler for DJs looking to add a sampler to their DJ gear. I'm going to give you the seven reasons. I'm also going to talk about why you might want to add a sampler to your DJ gear. By the end of this, you'll know whether you want a sampler and you'll also know why we love the SP404 Mark II so much. I've got to tell you that this is not a review of the unit. There's, it's not a new unit and there's loads of reviews out there and some of them are fantastic. So do go and take a look at those. This is more uh, a DJ focused, right, I'm a DJ, I want to add a sampler to my setup type video. Uh, and by the end of this, you'll have that knowledge. Right, so do you need to add a sampler to your DJ setup? Well, quite probably not. Because if you use a DJ controller, here is a DJ controller, uh, you've got one built in. All DJ software, Serato, Rekordbox, Tractor, and so on. They've all got a sampler built in that's fantastic. So the chances are very high that you won't need to add another sampler to that. But not everyone has got a DJ system that uses a laptop. A lot of people have got DJ systems like this one I've got here, which is a uh, little standalone. It doesn't need a computer. Also, uh, you might have a Pioneer DJ, XDJ, all in one standalone, or indeed you might have a professional DJ setup that like you see in real DJ booths all over the world with CDJs and a separate mixer and all that. None of those have a sampler built in. So in those instances, if you want that functionality, you've got to add it yourself. But why would you want it? Well, there's loads of reasons. Reasons. You know, one of the easiest things um, to do with a sampler is just drop DJ idents, DJ drops over your mixes uh, to add your personality, add your name to it. You could put loops and acapellas and textures and so on on these pads and play them over the top. And you can resample back into the sampler from what you're doing and then play back what you just did on the controller uh, or on the DJ system from the sampler, freeing up your decks here to do something else. So they're very creative devices and that's only the beginning. Once you really get started into them. You can make whole tracks on these. So you could do a hybrid DJ set where you're playing live from here and playing records from here. And as you can see, you know, this is a simple-ish setup to set up. And it is simple. This thing here is powered by batteries. It's actually plugged into the mains now, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, and you plug an output from here onto an input on your DJ controller uh, um, or your DJ device. And I've also got the output from the DJ device plugging into this so I can resample into this if I want. Uh, and there's even another socket on the front of this where you can plug in a microphone uh, and you could have an MC and be sampling the MC and doing all kinds of cool stuff there. So there's lots of reasons why you might want to add a sampler. Now there's lots of ways you could do that. You don't have to buy uh, this hardware sampler and plug it into your hardware. To start with, there are other hardware samplers out there. We'll talk about a couple of those at the end. But another very easy way of doing it is just to get an app on your phone that is, you know, $5 or something. Uh, and it looks similar to what we're looking at here, same kind of layout and so on. You can load samples in and then you can play them back with a lead, plug in from your phone into your DJ gear. So there are other ways of doing it, but I'm gonna give you seven reasons now why I think this is possibly the best way if you've got the money to buy one there. I think they're about three or $400. Didn't check before went live, probably should have done. Right, let's talk about those seven reasons then. Reason number one, it's the form factor. It's the right size, it's tall, it's thin. It's thick enough to sit next to DJ gear without getting lost on the desk. These things matter. If you're in a DJ booth, this thing has to fit in the booth. It's much easier to fit something that's this shape in than something that's, for instance, this shape, it's DJ controller, right? If you're a DJ that's tried to fit a DJ controller into a DJ booth, you'll know that that isn't a good shape to try and fit into a busy working environment. This is. So just by the very basis of the form factor of the SP404 Mark II, it's already on a winner. Secondly, it's actually a sampler. I've already told you how I've got this plugged into this so that I can sample directly into it. I've already told you you can plug a microphone or an instrument into the front. Uh, you hit record, it will record your sample. You can very quickly trim it using the screen. Very, very easy to sample stuff into this and playback. A lot of samplers are simply sample playback devices. You're meant to put the samples into it on an SD card or something, which is a bit lame for DJs. We like to be able to do stuff like this. Something cool going on on the decks, sample it, loop it, do something else. It's very, very good for that kind of thing. So it is genuinely a sampler. If you're looking for a sampler, make sure it can actually sample and it's not just a sample playback device. So number three, it's a performance device. This is a hands-on device. Everything about it is designed for you to perform. It's actually not quite so good if you're using it as a production piece of equipment. Uh, it's got a sequencer in it which will allow you to tell it what to play and when, but it's not a step sequencer. So in other words, you can't program your drums on one, five, nine, and 13, uh, your kicks and your, and your claps on the others and so on. You can't do that. You've got to actually play on this. Now, that might be seen as a disadvantage for some people. For DJs, 
it's good because that's how we do our stuff. We don't pre-program our sets on our gear. We, we, we do it live there, we're doing it. And this kind of unit plays into that. Its strengths are in being a performance sampler, which I think is great for DJs. As I say, it's how we like to work. So the next reason, uh, my, my, my fourth reason, is that it's very, very familiar. You've got four by four pads here to trigger your samples. Uh, the screen doesn't give you anything unusual. This, uh, your effects here, everything about this is just familiar, not only to users of the original SP404, although this is so different, so much better that it should be seen as a new device, not just a Mark II, but nonetheless, you won't be lost on it. But also I mentioned software samplers, samplers that you can get on your phone. Like there's one called the Koala sampler, which we've always used here, very popular it's pretty much a copy of this. You know, it's such a standard layout. You get into a car, you know where everything is, right? You know where the shift is, you know where the pedals are. There's, you know, they don't change. And it's the same with samplers. This is laid out in the real classic form that you will just get. So it's got an, a familiarity about it uh, that you will uh, certainly appreciate. Uh, my fifth reason as to why the Roland DJ, uh, sorry, the Roland SP404 Mark II is good for DJs is that it's got awesome pitch shifting and awesome effects. So you can lock the pitch and you can alter the BPM of your samples. You can lock the BPM and you can alter the pitch or the key of your samples. Uh, and it's really high quality. 10, 15% in either direction, you're not gonna get any artifacts. It's gonna sound really, really cool. Excellent for speeding up vocals, slowing down vocals and that kind of thing. Uh, but the effects are fantastic as well. This little unit has got effects on the input, but also it's got four effects engines on playback samples that you can configure in all kinds of ways. And it's got about 37, I think, different effects. And there's some fantastic DJ focused effects, vinyl style effects. Uh, you can use um, uh, combinations of those. Basically very, very powerful and easy to access as well. You've got six pre-programmed here, but you can change these to whatever you want. So whether you're looking for filters, whether you're looking for um, DJ vinyl, um, uh, stuff to drop into your sets with samples, it's all on here. Uh, I think that's a really big thing because a lot of samplers don't have particularly good effects built in and that what you can do to manipulate your samples is limited, not so on here. And when you combine that with the fact that it's got that very familiar feel and it's also, um, it's also a performance device, as I've just mentioned, does start to make this a very powerful unit. Uh, before we go any further, I just want to show you how this is wired up, just to be completely clear. We have got the output of this going into an auxiliary input on my DJ unit here, and then we've got a output from the DJ unit going into here for resampling what we do or for sampling what we're doing on the DJ gear. So that's really simple to set up. There's no there's no smoke and mirrors there at all. Uh, I, I'd envisage most DJs who've got a DJ unit that's got an auxiliary input being able to do that. Um, that's all you need in order to get a lot the functionality I'm talking about here going on here. All right, so we've talked about the form factor. We've talked about the fact that this is actually a sampler. We've talked about the fact it's a hands-on device. It feels familiar. It's got that great ability to manipulate your samples, the pitch and the effects. It's also got something I've never ever seen on a sampler before, which is it's got a DJ mode. You can actually switch in DJ mode and in this mode you can load two tracks which you have on sample slots, and you can use the knobs to adjust the volume. You've got um, sync, you've got a Q mix that can come out of the headphones so that you can actually monitor the track that the audience isn't hearing. In other words, this actually acts like a DJ controller with built-in music. You've got banks of samples here. You've got 10 banks of samples that you can choose from. You can have a couple of banks that are just records. And then you can have a whole set here waiting for you to DJ from, either in an emergency or as part of a bigger performance uh, or uh, just for fun. Uh, and if you are really adventurous, you could, you could head out with just this and DJ on just this and forget everything else, music and everything. I've never seen that on a sampler before and it makes it uniquely fun for DJs. And the final thing, the final thing, and I'm going to actually give it some love and put it on the close-up camera here, the final thing about this that I think is worth knowing if you're a DJ thinking of buying it is just the feel of it. It just feels like an instrument. It feels like something that you very quickly forget that it's sophisticated electronics with its own workflow and you just start using it. Now, if you're a DJ and you've been DJing for any length of time, you'll know that you get to know your DJ gear really, really well. I've DJ this is a tiny little controller, but it's got battery in it, it's standalone. I've DJed all over the place on this. I can turn this on and forget that I'm using a DJ controller pretty much instantly or a DJ system. I know where everything is. I know how to access my tunes. I know how to load stuff. I know where the 
the EQs are, I know what the meters mean, it's exactly the same on here. It feels like an instrument. And to me, feel is everything. You know, if you're performing, you need the stuff to feel right. It's not quite the same if you're in the studio. Yes, that stuff's still important, but in the studio, people use computers, they use a mouse, they slump in a chair, they spend a long time going through menus to get it all right. There's a kind of perfectionist thing going on. But when you're performing as a DJ, you want something that just feels good. It's an instinct thing. And this has definitely got that. So my seventh reason as to why I think this is great for DJs is that it just feels right. So that's been our look at the SP404 Mark II sampler from Roland. This was not a review. As I said, it's not particularly new. There are reviews out there if you wanna go check them out on other channels that are fantastic. Uh, but this is more, uh, from a DJ's point of view, why you might consider buying a unit like this. So we are the number one website for DJs and we're also the number one DJ school in the world. We work with people like Jazzy Jeff, who's no stranger to this kind of device, NPCs and so on. Uh, we work with DJ Angelo, Layback Luke, James Hyde, uh, we have got DJ courses for everyone from beginner to advanced, but the first thing to do if you like uh, what you see here is join. It's free to join Digital DJ Tips. Uh, when you do, you get a free copy of our best-selling Amazon book, Rock the Dance Floor, uh, which will introduce you to the big world of DJing, including producing and using gear like this. Uh, but also, more importantly, you get our weekly Tuesday Tips newsletter, which is the hands down best place to improve your DJing and your DJ producing because it's full of free lessons from our courses, free mixes, uh, DJ news, features, tutorials, and so on. So do sign up. We'd love to have you as our latest free member, digitaldjtips.com slash join. Meanwhile, for me, Phil, and the Roland SP404 Mark II sampler here in the studio, get good, get out there, make the moments. We'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.